Well, welcome back to Buffalo Kickoff Live. Heather Prusak here alongside Tim Graham from The Athletic. The Bills taking the field in Carolina for their preseason finale in just a little over uh, 15 minutes now. We're going to get to some um, position battles, some guys to watch that are on the bubble as far as making this roster. But first, we do want to um, continue to talk about these very serious allegations against Bills punter Matt Ariza. He was accused of gang raping a 17-year-old, a then 17 17 year old back in October when he was at San Diego State. Um, now kind of let's shift gears, Tim. We've talked about kind of what we know up to this point in the civil lawsuit. Uh, Matt Ariza will not play tonight in Carolina. He's with the team, but he will not play. But let's shift gears to maybe how this affects the team from a culture standpoint, because this is a regime of Sean McDermott and Brandon Bean. Since they took over, they preach culture, they preach character, they preach bringing in guys with the right values. And, um, you know, they, they say all of that. And this is really the really the first big and major challenge that they've had to navigate in that area of dealing with a major, you know, character, moral, all of that. This is a culture test. And uh, Terrell Dodson, a, a few years ago, he had the suspension for the domestic violence incident, but he was an undrafted rookie. He's even a guy who, even though still on the roster now, a lot of Bills fans don't know. Matt Ariza shows up with a lot of fanfare. He is immediately popular, the punt god. Uh, he's, a, he's a toy. He's a, he's a thing that the Bills aren't supposed to need a punter. Uh, that much because of their high flying offense. But here's this cool thing that the Bills fans can get behind, and rightfully so, uh, on its face. Um, but now you have a, a potential crisis, not only within the locker room, because I think it's silly to overlook the aspect that everybody is just going to embrace this new teammate, given what they now know about what he's been accused of, and based on the documentation of the civil suit that's been filed, has allegedly admitted to. In, in some of these, uh, in, in some of the uh, facts, or the uh, at least the the accusations that were put, put forth in the civil uh, document, you also have a fan base that I can't recall being so universally aligned against one of its heroes in a long time. And we've had Evander Kane, who was a polarizing figure even before he had the accusations leveled against him. And there still were a lot of fans that said, hey, uh, he's a good player, we got to give him another chance, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, LaShawn McCoy, uh, when he uh, got into some uh, legal trouble, he was being uh, investigated for a domestic incident in which he was accused of hiring somebody or sending somebody over to steal some jewelry and, 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 do, and rough up an ex. Um, there still were a lot of Bills fans that said, yeah, but he's a really good running back. From last night until today, on social media, listening to radio, checking out everything that I can because I'm trying to see how people feel about this, I can't recall anybody just being so dead set against having a player on the Buffalo roster, whether it's the Sabres or the Bills, and the people who are saying, uh, who are at least not saying the guy's got to go, are saying, well, let's see what happens. You know, it's like a, it's a, it's a tepid uh, uh, response. It's like, let's just maybe see how, how this plays Let itself out. It's not, he's fine, he deserves another chance. I, I think that uh, when you're talking about um, the accusations that are in play, the, 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 the documentation, at least in the, in the civil suit, that he admitted to it, uh, this is uh, an incredibly delicate situation that the Bills are going to have to handle artfully. And I think we're going to learn an awful lot about uh, Sean McDermott, Brandon, Brandon Bean, and the uh, Pagulas here in the next probably, well, maybe in the next few hours, maybe the next yeah. 12, 24 hours. Yeah, the Bills, I mean, they can't hide behind a statement that everybody has received, a generic statement that was released yesterday when the LA Times article came out. We're going to need to hear more from how they're going to I'd like proceed to raise another forward. another point, if I may. Yes. There are an awful lot of women who cover this team, yourself included, but I've always marveled at the Buffalo market and how many women cover the Buffalo Bills. And to have them to come into the locker room and interview and have to be around a situation that might be considered a little hostile, the Bills are going to have to 
it's a big test, and we'll see how they have to figure it out. how this organization handles it. Their biggest test in this category by far.